Hello and welcome back to this channel. Today I'm going to create for you this um, Thanksgiving cake uh, with a turkey, some pumpkins, some um, candy corn, and it is um, inspired by a real uh, life-size um, cake, which um, was uh, a post that I saw on a Instagram. I followed the Instagram to this lady's website where she is showing her amazing creations. Anyway, this is my version of her creation of the Thanksgiving cake, and I made a simpler one here as well. Uh, I have a list for you of all the materials. I have created this um, um, topper uh, as an SVG file or PDF file if you wish to download it and create your own um, turkey cake. Anyway, stick with me. Let's see this through the end and uh, I hope you enjoy it. And here are the uh, items we will need. Um, if you can see close, my white is not the greatest because I didn't properly clean the machine, uh, but because you're only gonna see the edge of the whites um, between the layers. I'm not concerned. Um, then we have, uh, and that's rolled out on a uh, five setting. That's rolled out on a five setting on my machine. The higher the, the number, the thinner it is. The layers, uh, the cake layers are on a four setting. And this is all um, the, the pieces that I will be coloring in uh, that will make the decorative cake top. So we'll need some colors for decorating the, the turkey part the decoration. Uh, we also have some translucent clay for gluing the, the layers together, uh, baking them together. Um, I have chosen to use um, a bigger, um, this is a more of a one inch and this is three quarter inch. Because it's a decorative cake, I'm going with the uh, wider, so it's the, the 12 inch equal to a 12 inch, which would be the one inch. Um, this is what I use. Um, this came from, oh gosh, I don't even remember maybe a flashlight or something and it's great and then I just use um, something else to poke it through if it doesn't slide off um, and a blade a blade for for the clay um, and we'll just start off as I go along um, you'll see what all uh, I need to use the colors I have chosen um, are autumny kind of colors uh, so we're going to start by cutting the uh, various cake layers and um, I just use this little bit of tile. I don't mind that it's shiny bottom because it doesn't matter, it's a cake. The, uh, the layers aren't going to need to, to have a rough texture, so uh, it won't matter. Dip my cutter into some cornstarch. Uh, if you have, I guess if you have baby powder, that will work too. I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five layers of the white. Three, I'm gonna make uh, an extra one in case I want to double up on the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll do a um, second cake. Just cutting two of each. That anymore. Now let's remove the layers that we do need. I'm going to take this very first one as the bottom layer and it doesn't matter because you're only going to see the edge. I do that. Here we only need one of each. This project done and then so then I'm going to very carefully layer the second one on. I'm going to add a little bit of um, translucent. This is only for the sake of, of it baking together. And I'm going to put just a dab. Again, if, if your white isn't great, it doesn't really matter. You're only going to see the very edge. So now I'm going to stick this 
in the fridge for about 15 minutes. darker shade on these pumpkins and I'm gonna take some some of this yellow ochre and I'm gonna mix it a little bit with um, oh that's white kind of make some of them a little bit different shades but I do want to make the cookie seem a little bit browner, a little bit not so pale. And when I get into the messy paint, I really enjoy it. Ah, okay, I feel that that is much better. It's a little bit more golden. It doesn't have to be all even. So one side. That's all done there. Um, I think the red is good enough. But I'll hit it a little bit more, a real nice deep red. Making sure that the edges on the red have been covered. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the, the L and the yellow. The yellow seems to be all right. What do I do with my yellow brush? It's nice to have a variety of brushes, but then you have to clean them all out. What I like to do, so that it does look feathery icing, we'll just kind of do this. Feather it down, streaking it down, cleaning it out on my hand, obviously. What else would you clean it out on, right? While that's drying, I wanna show you something else that I'm going to do. I want to have some candy corn on, um, on the top of the cake. But I didn't really want to go through and make some of the really good uh, polymer clay artisans do. They make, they make it out of uh, clay. And what I'm going to do, because I require such little bit and very tiny decorations. I want to put some of these decorations on the top of the cake, some candy corn. Um, I'm just going to create it out of cardstock and I'm going to cut triangles out of it. Make sense? Okay, so I am going to take little turkeys, I'm going to glue them. These are cut symmetrical, so you don't have to worry about which side is up. I cut four and I wondered maybe I'll be okay with three. But I think I'm going to do a, a fourth layer so that it's nice and almost looks three-dimensional even though this is a paper craft. And here we go. The last one. You see? Just putting it on top of each other, building it up. Once you're satisfied with it, tighten it. I'm going to pat it down. See, it stands up because that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to stand up on the cake. So if you were to do just one layer of the, of the turkey, it wouldn't do the standing up. Okay, so I think I can go ahead. Now, this is very tiny, so bear with me here. I will paint the body, the bottom side. Well, actually, you don't really need to do the back. The back's going to be glued to the feathers. But let's do this again. So it's a nice deep color. And it does not have to be even because, you know, these are supposed to be feathers. So you don't have to do 
uneven coat. And see if I can get the top. Okay. So that's that. This will need to dry before we can do the section next to it in yellow, which will be the neck. But while that's drying, I'm going to do the top on top, the the, the top on top, the uh, the bit on top, what is that called? You know, the rooster's crown or I'm not sure what it's called. And you know, very little will give you the effect of what you're looking for. So I'm convinced that that's okay. It's not that bad. One side is dry, not quite, um, but dry enough that I can take, I can take them back to back and glue them on to each other. So you're going to glue three of the large ones together. Now this is not totally dry. So give yourself a chance to actually dry. One of the sides will be called the front. And you have one more leaf to put on there. Give me a chance to make sure that the other one's dry. This paint was very wet and it's not drying as fast as I would expect it to. It's okay. We'll handle it. Point them at the bottom. Join up the the be the, the, the points because you do want it to look like they're cookies that have been joined together too. So that's part of the fun why you know this is actually a cake and not three-dimensional leaf. It's actually supposed to be a cake form. Okay, so while these other ones were drying, um, I've gone ahead and uh, glued three of the same ones together, the medium-sized ones, and then the uh, little ones together because the fronts of them uh, have not dried totally. I went also and I painted because you wouldn't want to see me uh, paint this because it's so tiny. So basically I painted the, the little body. I don't know if it's too, there you go. Painted the body uh, in brown and then yellow neck and then the, oh, the I don't know what you call that in English right now, but the, the red in the front um, the, the gobbly bits and then the top and the beak and a couple of eyes one on each side that's fairly easy to do and it gives you the uh, it does give you the impression of um, a turkey head so now um, while that was drying uh, or while I did that these were drying so now I'm going to glue the colorful feathers onto each of the cookie. So this would be what you would consider the icing. This is similar to, a di it's a different way to do it uh, than I did with the Halloween um, centerpiece. Um, but this is supposed to be the icing on the, um, on the cookie. Whoops, I'm just gonna sit it nice and straight. Line it up with the bottom. It's all going to have to be dependent on how it sits on the bottom. There you go. So that's one. And then I'm going to take the second one. The back side, because you're going to glue that on top of the red, uh, does not have to be the good side. Um, so you're going to take the medium one, the medium frosting, let's say, front of the cookie, and you're going to apply it to the medium stack of three. And then you have the small one. Oh, wrong one to put the glue on. And you're going to put glue onto the small one. I hope you can see this all right. I had someone say, could you not do it so close up? And yet I know that I like it when people do close up. So I'm not sure why that is, but um, so I'm trying to compromise here by not doing such close up so that everyone is happy with the way it comes across. Fingers in the way and there you go. So now the last bit is to stack the three sides together. 
So again, you're going to take the back of this one. I know it almost fe feels like, okay, you've done all that work. Now you're going to just stack it on top of each other. Well, oh, that's just the way it is. <laughs> and then it's going to go stack on top of that. But at least you know it's there and you know that it's nice. And whoops. Okay, I'm going to like that. You know, as I'm looking at it, I'm going to have to do a little bit of touch up on the edges of the cookie. I should have done that before doing this step, but it's okay. I can get in there with a small brush. And here's the last one. That's going to go on here. So that gives you the dimensional three feather effect. And I'm going to take them all three and I'm going to push them all down. Pushing them all down. So you have the stack of the butter cookies. And then we're going to put the turkey on. But for the turkey, I think I'm going to use a tiny bit of super glue on there because it's such a little bit. So I'm going to glue on the back just a couple little daubs. Oops. If I was just going to do it and leave it alone, I'd leave it. But I would just do regular glue. But I want to apply this to the cake fairly quick to finish it off. And this is going to go the center right there see like that and now all I have to do is make sure I can get my tweezers off and that it doesn't glue to my fingers so before it sets I glue it that way and there you go see it okay so now we have the baked cakes ready to go slices and all and we're ready to decorate and the first thing we're going to do is put go put the um, turkey on top. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and glue. Uh, going to glue it with going to glue it with some E6000 it's because I don't like the way that white glue sits on here. So I'm going to pick nice area here to put our turkey in okay so I have some of these little pumpkins and I'm gonna pick the smaller ones they're gonna go on here here and there kind of thing remember we had the three lines that I've made of white and three other shades that's going to be for the candy corn so all I'm doing with that is I'm going to cut I'm going to cut kind of skinny triangles um, I'm going to try and do one and show you out of there I'm kind of going to go in and out can I show you kind of in and out and I'm gonna just get triangles going both ways just for a little additional color so you end up with these little triangles and then you're gonna go along so I'm gonna take this and show you you see the little so they're just going to be a whole bunch, but you have to, you, you have to make sure that you put them all right side up. It's a bit fiddly. Cut a whole bunch of them. And then I'm going to put them on the cake as well. And you know, they don't have to be all that even size. A little random would be nice too. I added some green glitter. Uh, I added the little um, uh, that I cut out, remember, the um, the corn that I did, I made some corn. Of course, not all of them are usable, um, but some of them are fairly convincing. Let me see here. Can, can you see any of that? No. It's really tiny. I like that. Um, 
here's one that you can possibly tell. It gives you the illusion, they're not perfect, but when you put it on the cake, which is what I did here, maybe you can see on the cake, I just put a few, and then I added some of those pumpkins that I had, um, that I had cut out, and now you can still see a little bit of the Mod Podge is still, it's still wet. And then I added some of the green glitter onto the bottom because you, I sort of felt that you needed a little bit of green. And then it's gone on, on to a beautiful cranberry cake platter, um, which I was gifted by my friend Bunny, better known as Elizabeth of Studio E. And there's one. And then the other one, um, I put it, I did as well with the little pumpkins, a little bit of the green glitter. I didn't do anything on the side. This one I put it onto a little rustic, um, well, it's actually wood. It's, it's a beautiful little tray that I've had for a long time. Um, and then I cut out slices. And here's the slices that were textured. And they can go on here waiting for someone to come along and grab a slice and I put one on a plate. I've got a lot of glitter on my desk right now, which is why I'm being careful. So here they all are, the slice, and I have glitter on my fingernails. And here's the, the one with the finished turkey. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was really fun to do. I thought about it for a while, how I could do it the easiest way possible. And here it is, all finished. Um, decorating is a personal choice. You can have the glitter, can have the little pumpkins or not. Add um, maybe add some raspberries or some something red, but I rather liked the pumpkins. Two cakes, different ways to present it. The simpler way um, without the cake um, topping. I do like the fact that it has the uh, the turkey topping. And here it is, close up. Um, on a little cranberry pedestal um, cake, cake stand, which I love. And uh, here it is on a cake slice, ready for someone to enjoy. And uh, this cake, this is a slice from this one, which I've uh, sliced so that it can be um, shown in uh, different ways. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I certainly enjoyed making it uh, once I figured it out. Um, I have the SVG files down below if you wish to download for you. It's free um, or a PDF file will also be available in the content box below. Um, if you liked it, do hit the like button. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to um, subscribe for upcoming videos. And uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.